Welcome to the next part of our series on our spring cruise to Desolation Sound. The weather looked like it was going to turn, and there really was no point in hanging around, so we decided we'd give Lund a try. We pulled in, tied up, turned the heater on, and set out to explore. Lund's a beautiful little town, and if you have the opportunity to stop, it's well worthwhile, especially the cinnamon buns. We watched the storm blow by for two days and then took off south. We had a beautiful wind out of the north and it was a great downwind sail. I took the opportunity to play with my waterproof camera again, getting some shots of the hull. Again, the water's pretty murky, but it was interesting nonetheless. We had the sail out most of the day, only taking it down when the wind got too low in the lee of one of the islands. But soon enough the wind was up again and we managed to sail right into the harbour, spending the night at the Texeda Boat Club, a beautiful place we are always greeted by name. They've got a great database there. The next day we took off for Pender Harbour, and as we pulled out into Malaspina Strait, the wind started to come up, and Leslie decided we were going to sail. It was cold and a little bit cloudy, and we tacked it back and forth across the strait, and winds climbing to 21 and 22 knots. It was a great, great day. We had the mainsail reefed and the boat was in perfect tune. It's always fun to sail when the boat's heeled over like that. It makes everything just a little bit more difficult. I didn't get to sail much that day, Leslie was having an awful lot of fun at the helm. But we were out on the water for 4 or 5 hours and everybody got their chance. Obviously, since Leslie decided she was going to be at the helm, I had a lot of time on my hands. So I took a lot of footage. I even managed to get a shot of us doing attack. It's been an interesting trip so far, we've been promised a lot of winds if we left this early in the spring, but so far it had been a lot of motoring on some calm water. Today more than made up for it. Eventually we dropped the sails and motored into Garden Bay again. One of our favorite places. This time we anchored a little further out and went for a cruise around the harbor in the dinghy. It was a quick stop and we decided to take off the next day for Smuggler Cove to spend the long weekend. The winds were gone and we motored straight there and this time when we pulled in we didn't have the whole place to ourselves. We decided to take the next day and head over to Buccaneer Bay in Thornby Island. There was a beautiful beach there and it was a bright sunny day. A lot of other people were taking advantage of the beautiful day as well and the beach was already crowded. We tied the dinghy up on shore, shed a few layers, and headed out to enjoy a beautiful day. On 
the other side of the beach, you look straight out to the Strait of Georgia. surprised at the number of people that were on the beach here, playing frisbee, having picnics, set up in their own little campsites. Throughout the day, boats came and went. I'm not sure if they're all locals or if they're cruisers. We headed back to Smuggler Cove. By the time we got back, there were an awful lot more boats there. It wasn't crowded exactly, but they were running out of room. So well, that's the end of week four of our trip. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the next episode.